Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the comedian Corey Showtime. Hey, Corey, how you doing, man? Hey, John. Good to meet you, man. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, brother. And looking forward to sharing some of your comedy work. Is it cool if we tune into your YouTube channel from some of the live comedy that you do from Fail to Render Comedy Club? Absolutely. All right, cool. Let's tune in now to Corey Showtime with the Fail to Render Comedy Club coming to you live. Give it up to the next comedian coming out here. Please put your controllers together for Corey Showtime Robinson. All right. Hey, can you guys hear me? Am I amplified? Yeah, you're yes. good. Yes. All right. Good. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. All right. I am not doing the first two minutes of my set in silence like the other comics you saw <laughs> earlier. Uh, <laughs> keep it going for Kyle, ladies and gentlemen. This has been going yeah. for a year. Uh, the pandemic's been going for a year. This is the most lemons to lemonade situation I can think of. <laughs> you guys are all Great in way. here making this beautiful, wonderful, slightly bitter lemonade. Thank you guys so much for being part of the mix. I am definitely going to be the brown sugar in this bitch. Okay, let's get started. All right. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> There we go. Good to see you. Good to see black avatars. We could have chose anything, but we stayed where we at. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I still get pulled over in the VR. It's bullshit. Hey. <laughs> I was playing Population One and got arrested. I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> You know that was legal. Everybody shoot and you pick me out. Fuck. <laughs> Sick of this shit. <laughs> oh, man. It is. It is. Thanks. Hey, Corey. Great to see you work. Really funny, man. And I really appreciate sharing it with our audience. Can you tell me now, where are you from and how did you get involved in comedy? Thank you, sir. I appreciate you sharing my stuff because, you know, it's hard out here trying to get noticed. Uh, sure. I'm from a small town called Seaside, California, right there in the very beautiful Monterey Peninsula, in between Monterey and Santa Cruz. And mm -hmm. I decided my life wasn't difficult enough, so I moved up to the Bay Area and started doing <laughs> <laughs> <In the area. laughs> but the comedy buzz is something that is takes a lot of courage to get up and perform in front of people and also comedy writing is something that is a skill set that you know is a discipline and 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 you comedians have this ability to capture these everyday kinds of situations that are so relatable to us as an audience that we find so hysterical. So let me ask this question, Corey, for you, when you were considering being a comedian, were there other comics that you thought were larger than life you appreciated that kind of inspired some of your work? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, surprisingly, I started really early. I was like 11 years old and it was mainly because I had a really cool mom and dad that were, would let me listen to comedy and stuff like that in the right context. So I'm not you know, cussing up a storm at 11. But I was watching George Carlin, Chris Rock, uh, Richard Pryor, uh, all those cats back in the day. Um, Bernie Mac, may he rest in peace, and like most of the guys I said, uh, aside from Chris Rock, uh, rest in peace. Uh, and right now, Dave Chappelle is the GOAT. He's the absolute best. Uh, Genius. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And listen, I love a lot of those comics you mentioned. I got to tell you what, you know, immediately... Uh, uh, it reminded me, Corey, of, of being a kid also, and behind the kind of the fence of my household, I was um, reciting uh, the seven bad words you can't say on television from uh, George Carlin. <laughs> and boy, did my mother come around the bed and just, you know, with all hell to pay for having listened to me at a very young age carrying on with those seven bad words but nevertheless so i can appreciate how you feel about that and also those comics they're larger than life they're great personalities um they poke fun at themselves that self-deprecating kind of humor as well they're also masters of language and human psychology um so all of these things come into play to make comedies like such a a, a unique gift and craft so glad that you have it and you're sharing it around. Let me ask this question. What are you working on right now and what's coming up for you, Corey? 
Well, right now, I've actually started my own LLC. I call it Robinson Comedy Services. I got a website, RobinsonComedyServices.com. And uh, it's been in the very infant stages right now, meaning I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. But uh, starting my own business, I want it to turn into its own content creation, like, production house. You know, I want to be able to put on live shows, uh, record the content, and distribute it to the masses, give comedians an opportunity to get some money in this place. Because, man everybody thinks they can do comedy and nobody wants to pay for it so i'm just trying to find a business side of this that's going to be beneficial to my my peers well you know the, i'm glad that you're doing that and curating comedy from different you know independent comics as they're arising um you having the ability to mentor them create content and distribute it out for them so they can get basically seen heard and known and potentially start to develop some commercial viability for themselves that's one of the reasons why phoenix 360 our app is important i think for artists of all kinds who are underrepresented and are having challenges you know they're they're self-funding their own love of the art until they can otherwise you know make a living with it so i'm hoping that the phoenix 360 app can also be real relevant for you Corey, and also for all artists and for fans to be able to enjoy and to directly connect with you to, to actually purchase merchandise or tickets or other kinds of material or intellectual property that you can exchange with those fans so i really appreciate hooking up with you today you know t tell me again what are those social links that you have there for Corey showtime uh, you can find me at robinsoncomedyservices.com, but you can find me specifically on Instagram at Corey Showtime. That's C-O-R-Y Showtime. Don't put an E in my name. I hate that. Uh, at Corey <laughs> Showtime. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. At, uh, I'm on Facebook uh, and Twitter. I'm on uh, Facebook under the same hashtag or same uh, <laughs> same handle. Uh, yeah, handle. Twitter, yeah, my Twitter handle is different. It's CR Showtime one. I had to get another one because I called a certain turtle face politician turtle face to his face and uh, Twitter didn't like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm starting over again there. And, yeah. uh, the hashtag Seaside Funny. That's Seaside Funny. Letter C Side Funny. Everything I do is under that hashtag. All that. right, Seaside Funny. All right, well, we'll tune into those links and we'll post them below our interview today. And we're also looking forward to your eyes on Phoenix 360. And, and thanks, Corey Showtime, for being with me, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, John. You're awesome. All right, you too, brother. You take care, man. <laughs> the rest of y'all, like, who was Thurgood Marshall? <laughs> but, read a book, <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, last thing before I get up out of here is just the oh, just idea that I want to pitch to Hollywood when everything gets oh, back up God. and running. Um, I have an idea What's for a show. Uh, I want to do a documentary on the pimp people that went on Pimp My Ride and got carjacked. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Those have got to be some interesting motherfucking stories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What? Can you imagine? Can you imagine those police calls on the APB, calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for a lime green Toyota Honda Civic <laughs> with bubbles and popcorn coming out the trunk, <laughs> and a live DJ playing on the hood. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's my time. Thank you. Don't worry about oh, oh my follow God. me on Instagram at Corey Showtime. C O R Y Showtime. Peace out. <laughs>